POC. I am super excited for this video because I'm currently camera shopping. So over the past couple of weeks, I've been renting cameras and trying them out. And this week I am trying a mirrorless camera. So I have my old camera, which is a Nikon 6, D610. And this is my secondary camera. And just over time, I feel like it has just not been performing as it should anymore. It is well loved and I think it's just time to upgrade. So I've been, just, I've been testing different ones out and this mirrorless one caught my eye because I've been considering going mirrorless for a while. And so I read to this for the week and have been setting up some photo shoots to test it out on. And overall, my impressions of it have been pretty good, but I'll go into that a little bit deeper after my photo shoot and testing it out some more. So I rented the Nikon Z7 II, as well as a lens adapter from my other DSLR cameras to this, so I can mount them and don't have to essentially buy or rent more lenses. And I'm excited to test it out in this video. We are on our way to go score some newspaper. It has been a absolutely wild journey trying to find it, but someone in my neighborhood has a huge stack, so super lucky we're able to do this. So here's the finished product and I selected news articles that are all of current time. So this is one of my favorite newspapers I found, which was the woman of the year. Um, just gorgeous. I made sure to get some comics in there. And of course, TikTok trend of Barbie Botox. Um, I had to get Taylor Swift on this wall, Tennessee Titans, uh, our Elon Musk. Again, flowers. I paid a lot of attention to what I put in here. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. All right, everyone, we are about to start our shoot. Meet Kylie, my model for the day. Uh, we are super excited. I was telling her all about our wall and how we crafted it. So, oh, and there's Willie. <laughs> Perfect timing on my other model. Uh, but we're excited to get the shoot started behind the scenes. So stay tuned. So I'm going to try to experiment for a moment. So enjoy this while I'm, you know, rolling in the newspaper here, all right? <laughs> all right, let's see. Okay. So lean in towards me a little bit more. I bend over. Yep. And then go and put your arm across. Perfect. Perfect. And look out towards the window. Oh, stunning right there. Don't move. And then you put like one of your hands like towards me, like reach towards me. Yeah, there you go. Hold on. I'm not sure how to get the in there. Stay there. Let's see. All right. You're good. You can stop now. All right. So we finished. And I cannot wait to show you. I definitely really do like this camera, but I gotta say it's not my next one, unfortunately. But the photos that it did take, if you are looking for a mirrorless camera, I do recommend it if you're not stuck on previous settings like me. But other than that, I hope you had fun. So much fun. So excited to do another one with you. Oh, me too. I feel like I found my new best friend who yes. loves Star Wars, who's a Christian. I mean, yes. Yes. you can't vibe more than that, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
So my main camera for shooting is the Nikon D850, and I love this camera a lot. Um, it is going to be just your standard DSLR with a mirror inside of it, and I've just gotten really used to shooting on this camera. And there are a lot of functions that I like about this one in particular. And the number one being is this white balance button here. So I shoot in Kelvin solely. And in order to change that, I can t simply just hold down that button and uh, make my temperature either warmer or cooler. And you know, with, with, while it's on my eye, I can just kind of know where to go. But on this one here, there isn't a button to be able to quickly change it. And from what I've researched, the function buttons on the front, I can't make them my white balance um, changer either. So I have to go into the menu and find the white balance and adjust it there by looking at my screen. And that's just something that I can't do. I can't afford to do that. I change my white balance like 50 times in one shoot. So that's the main reason this camera will not become my new camera. I love it so much. So I'm curious if there are other mirrorless cameras that do have some of the functions that I need at the top here. So uh, we'll see, I'll rent another one next week and see what happens. But overall, I really do like mirrorless. I like that when I'm making changes in the camera, I can see it through the viewfinder really easily. The tap to focus and tap to shoot on the back LCD screen is really precision and incredible. The pictures are sharp. I mean, it is overall a really stunning camera. So if you're not used to certain functions of a camera, like I do highly recommend this camera. If it wasn't for that one button, that one white balance button, I would buy it. I'd pull the trigger right now. But for right now, it is not my next camera. But again, I love it. I do recommend it. If you are going mirrorless, definitely rent it and check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video and all for all of your support. I know I haven't been posting in a while, but hopefully this content is still really interesting and you have enjoyed watching this shoot, all of the effort I put into it. I really miss this creative stuff. So if you are interested in seeing more behind the scenes and technology, you know, reviews, let me know. I would be happy to do it. But other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all. In the next video, I'm going to be going through the editing process of these photos and walking you through my editing process nowadays.